Welcome back guys, so SteamOS version 3.5.1 update has been released to the preview channel. Preview builds include new features that are still being tested. It can take some time for these new features to arrive on the stable build. I have already shown you how to switch from the stable build to the preview build. The process is still the same. Highlighting the key feature of this new build, it updates the BIOS firmware to version 118, allowing us to undervolt the processor without having to unlock the BIOS. I will be demonstrating the entire process in this video. I will quickly go through the update log. General fixes. Fix the case where an SD card with file system errors would be mounted as read only. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining about this issue. Good to see Valve has fixed it. Fix the custom performance overlay presets file in editing the default settings from the Steam presets. I'll be honest guys, I haven't used the custom performance overlay yet. I simply use the level 2 performance overlay. It displays most of the important performance parameters, even shows the frame time graph. Fix internal display rotation being erroneously reported to the game. BIOS update. External display fixes. Fix the version 3.5 regression with HDMI output. I was not able to test these fixes as I don't use my Steam Deck with a monitor or TV. Fix the long standing issue where the internal display backlight would always stay on. Fix bug with HDR application showing in wrong color space if they move their window during swap chain creation. Fix HDR not working in 32 bit applications. Added HDR analysis to developer settings. Disable HDR exposure in My Little Pony A Mere Time Bay Adventure game as it enables it without rendering in HDR. Just to be clear, Steam Deck's display itself does not support HDR, but HDR should work when you connect Steam Deck to a monitor or TV that supports it. Desktop mode fixes. Fix the case where the desktop could be empty and apps would fail to launch. Fix the bug where switching to the plasma desktop transit could result in broken colors. Now there are a few things that you need to know before updating to the latest preview build. After applying the update, it will nuke your Windows dual booting script like the refined script. Steam Deck won't be able to automatically boot into SteamOS. You will be manually required to boot into SteamOS via the boot menu. The process is simple. It is always the case when the BIOS gets updated. I am pretty sure you already know about it. After booting into SteamOS, just switch to the desktop mode and install the refined script. A guide video showing the complete process is uploaded on DeckWizard YouTube channel. I'll drop its link in the description. No data or any operating system partition will be deleted after applying the update. It will change your UMA buffer size value. So if you changed it before, make sure you change it again after applying the update. BIOS version 118 does not allow overclocking of the processor, which kind of limits the utility of undervolting. So if you want to overclock the processor, you will be required to downgrade the BIOS to version 116. In general, we undervolt the processor that helps in reducing the power draw, which in turn helps in reducing the temperatures, provides us with more power and thermal headroom. This is very useful for overclocking the CPU and the GPU. In this particular case, it's not possible due to the BIOS restriction. That's why I mentioned earlier about the limited utility of undervolting with this update. It's recommended to start with a small value for undervolt, increase it until you find the sweet spot where the processor exhibits no or only a slight performance regression. With a very high value of undervolt, system can become unstable, Steam Deck crashing randomly. So don't go overboard. The same values of undervolt cannot be applied to every Steam Deck processor. The outcome will vary depending on the silicon lottery. Some chips can be pushed farther than the others. You must have seen GPUs with overclock in their name. Their chips are usually good at sustaining higher clock speeds as compared to the vanilla variant of the same GPU. This is SteamOS running in gaming mode, system information, OS version 3.5.1, OS build, BIOS version F7A0118, video driver version Mesa 23.1.3, now I'll be showing you how to apply the undervolt, need to access Steam Deck's BIOS, first just shut down Steam Deck. In order to access Steam Deck's BIOS menu, need to press plus volume button and power button together, like this. Release them when you hear a sound. There you go. Let me adjust the exposure. Access setup utility from here. Go to advanced. Scroll down to the end. You will see these three settings. CPU voltage offset, GPU voltage offset and SOC voltage offset. By default, their values are set at 0. You can see I have changed them to minus 20 millivolt. You can choose from any of these values. 0, minus 10, minus 30, minus 40, minus 50. I am just playing it safe, I will stick with the minus 20 millivolt offset. This is for the CPU, this is for the GPU, same value. 
and this is the SOC voltage offset again minus 20 make sure you save your settings press the select button save and exit refine script you can see it's working my windows partition is still present so basically you need to experiment with these three values in order to get the best result now I'll be running GTA 5 using Proton Experimental as the compatibility layer. In case you don't already know, Steam Deck's APU has a power limit of 15 watts. Now I applied very small offset values. I don't want to risk breaking my Steam Deck. I am from India. There are no service centers nearby. Alright, so now we're in the games menu. Performance tab, overlay level set to 4. See the clock speed of the processor. Frame rate limit and refresh rate set to 60. I've enabled SteamOS FSR, sharpness level set to 4, you can see FSR enabled, in-game graphics setting, DirectX 11 API, native resolution set to 800 by 600 pixels, subscale to 800p by FSR, FXAA anti-leasing enabled, using the high settings, and start the story mode. Power draw for the entire system is capped at 25 watts. We are heavy getting around 60 FPS. You see the CPU and GPU temperatures. Fan is drawing almost 22 watts of power. Power draw is increasing. Trying to catch up with Lama. This sequence is demanding. Running around the city. GP load is around 90%. CPU seems to be the limiting factor. Oh no, I crashed there. Took out that guy. No issues with the game stability even after applying the undervolt. Definitely didn't observe any performance regression. Okay. I'll stick with these undervolt values. So, guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.